I welcome you on behalf of Legends of India for the second chapter of these lecture series. We have had topics like body mind connect in the classical arts, Guru Shishya Parampara, new form, new formula. Does culture unite or does it divide? So on and so forth. We have had speakers like Aruna Vasudev, Pratibha Prahlad, Shakti Mahera, Ashok Bajpai, Geeta Chandra and many others who have spoken in the previous lectures. But the person behind this lecture series who is no more with us is Shantaj. Now to come to basically art in the era of technology, I really wonder if there can be any isolation between art and technology. After all, every artist lives in this world. His ideas, his thinking is related to the context in which he lives. And that living cannot be divorced from technology. It's all around him. Therefore, I don't think that we can really think of art as something different from technology on the simple basis of existence. But more so, uh, since I'm a physicist, I know that physics and sciences are all about aesthetics. We continue to look for symmetry in this world because symmetry is what will actually minimize the chaos and will lead to the ultimate truth of existence. So aesthetics is at the, bas at the basic of both art and science and technology. Therefore, there is that commonality. For example, uh, uh, even before an aeroplane came into existence, Leonardo da Vinci, the famous painter, the famous uh, artist, drew the line drawing of a plane, even without knowing what it could be. And as become mentioned, it never flew. But at least he had a vision. So people have had a vision. The arts and the, the technology, they have always related to each other in that sense, really. Enumerating the tragic losses of her family and the tragedy which has befallen her family, the audience is sitting quietly breathing and suffering with her. There is big drop silence and she finishes her speech. Slowly the lights go out and there's total darkness. There's still much silence. Then the stage lights come on and they all rise to give her a standing ovation. Cut to 2016. And this is the last scene of a play which is based on the story of Kalpana Chawla, the astronaut. And they are returning in her space shuttle, Columbia, after their journey around the, and orbiting the Earth. And this is being projected, a live video recording is being projected on a screen upstage. And there is excitement on the actor crowd on stage, her family, and they're all, there's anticipation, there's excitement. They're all watching the descent of this aircraft. As it comes, suddenly the aircraft bursts into flames. There are shouts and cries, not only on stage, but in the audience as well. Then, deathly silence. As the mother sinks to the ground, all we hear are her sobs and the strains of the audio track. And the play ends, and the audience rises and applauds loudly. Both. It's interesting, it has come full circle. It was on the stage, it went to the film, and now it has gone back to be a play. I don't have a lot of words to say about it. It's a big show. It's a big picture. It's a big show. Same reaction when I saw Mughal Azam on screen. Uh, exactly the same reaction I have when I've seen it on stage. It's spectacular. I was only hoping to God that there would have been no one imitating or aping the original actors, and thankfully none of them have. They are originals, and they are so convincing. अच्छा किया उन्होंने कि वो उसी मकालमों को वैसे ही रखना है, क्योंकि उसमें हमें जादू है. 
आज जो था ये म्यूजिकल ट्रीट था कई बार मेरी आंखों में आंसू आए आंसू खुशी के भी आए इमोशनल होकर गम के भी आंसू